Yeah, it is. All right, coming mm. up on 848 here on this Thursday morning. Weather-wise, we are still in pretty good shape. The wind is coming back at us today for kids that are going to be on the field later on today. Uh, football practice, maybe even, you know, band practice for those kids that are uh, using, utilizing the field for that. We're in pretty good shape. Uh, temperature is great. I mean, no problems here. Really no, you know, major hazards, but there will be more wind. Southeast winds, 15 to 25 miles per hour. Some gusts near 30 miles per hour this afternoon. Speaking of all the things going on in the next couple days, of course, uh, this is jumping ahead to tomorrow night, Friday night football. I mentioned this a few minutes ago because the forecast we have to watch pretty closely. Temperatures, it'll be fall like. We're looking to be in the upper 50s, northeast breeze. This would be on the Tulsa Metro specifically, a slight chance for a shower. If you're in southeastern Oklahoma, basically south of I 40, there's a higher opportunity that rain could be impacting at least the second half of those games tomorrow night. Also, uh, this is a homecoming for TU coming up on Saturday. Tomorrow night, tomorrow evening, Friday evening, is the uh, pep rally outside there at UT, uh, the, the University of Tulsa, UT. Uh, and we're going to be, it's a similar story, temperature wise from what I just showed for Friday night football, uh, northeast breeze, upper 50s, want to have a jacket, and a slight chance for a shower, uh, most likely would be south of Tulsa, but we we'll watching it. And then for the game on Saturday, uh, TU is taking on SMU, and especially before the game through tailgate time, and then you have to kick off some showers, especially just east of Tulsa, temperatures will be cool, so it'll be uh, still light jacket weather for TU's game against SMU on Saturday. The wind comes back at us today. It's not the same high-end winds that we had Monday and Tuesday and going back to last weekend, but 20, 25 mile an hour gusts will be common, especially west of Tulsa. Some gusts over 30 miles per hour today, and that will act to pretty quickly dry things out, even with all the good rain that we had just a couple days ago. Uh, we turn that around to a northeast breeze on Friday, and that will be as that area low pressure comes sliding across the Red River, and that brings us the northeasterly winds and uh, eventually some showers for parts of the area. Highs today, almost a carbon copy of yesterday. So that's upper 60s, northeast Oklahoma and southeast Kansas. Upper 60s to right around 70 in southeastern Oklahoma before clouds move in. Then late today, by this evening, a few showers developing along I-35. A couple of those will drift into eastern Oklahoma late tonight into very early Friday morning. Then during the day Friday, a lot of the rain slides off into central and southern Oklahoma. A lot of us are dry. This would be Friday night into early Saturday morning. Southeastern Oklahoma rain becomes likely, as I just mentioned. Along and south of I-40, those Friday night activities and Friday night football games could be turning damp. Now, we're not talking about severe weather or even, you know, a whole lot of thunderstorm activity the way it looks right now, but showers certainly could be an impact there. Of course, as we all know, we need the rain, but just beware. And then into Saturday, showers kind of continue to linger in eastern and southeastern Oklahoma, but some of those may make it as far north as the Tulsa Metro as well. So we'll break this all down here on Future View because this really paints the picture pretty well. Those light showers on I-35 tonight into early tomorrow, and then you'll notice as the day progresses, Rest is Friday. Look where all the heavier rains uh, focus along the Red River with that area of low pressure. And then Friday night, you see that rain starts to kind of pinwheel back to the north around that surface low, uh, especially in southeastern Oklahoma. And then into Saturday, as that surface low sits and spins to our south and east, continues to send showers up into far eastern Oklahoma. So just something to be aware of for your late Friday and Saturday outdoor plans. Some of us could end up a little bit on the damp side of things. Temperatures will stay nice and fall like through the weekend. More cloud over, of course, Friday and Saturday. Sunday, that system starts to move away. We'll still have highs in the 60s. And then a warming trend kicks in next week. Still looks like great weather for Halloween on Monday. And then warming above normal with south winds for the middle of next week.